what's up guys uh welcome back to another youtube video by me you know i know it's been a fat minute since i've uploaded or even filmed but um we're just gonna come back at it i know i deleted all my videos that'll come up soon <laughs> all right so um today we're gonna be doing a q and a it's gonna be like tonight and then i'm gonna film another part tomorrow so yeah uh so i'll be back okay so i asked i texted some people asking for them for questions and then i posted on my story my snapchat story and my instagram story so yeah so i'm going to start off with some questions from my group chat um okay so my friend Tony asked, are you racist? <laughs> no, I am not racist. I will never be racist. It's just not not fair to, like, it's not, it's just stupid. Like, like yeah, we're not going to get controversial right now. I'll just wait for that. Okay, um, my other friend, Anna, asked me, what is your favorite ice cream? I'm, like, mint, chocolate chip, and cookie dough are, like, my two favorite ice creams. Those are bomb as fuck. Um, she also said, what's your favorite number? My favorite number is probably, like, like 11 or 17 i don't know i got weird favorite numbers um what's your favorite shoe brand no i y'all already know this shit oh my god okay long story about what happened to that okay but my crocs bitch obviously crocs crocs is my favorite shoe brand um i live for crocs we all gotta live for her um she also asked, what sport do you like to play? <laughs> okay, what sport do I like to play? I like to, like with this group chat in general, with the people in this group chat, I like to play basketball with them. It's just so much fun. Um, to be honest, baseball is kind of like, it like it's it's pretty chill football i i can never play football because i suck ass at football and i like embarrass myself so yeah my black friend okay um let me what how tall are you from louis i'm like five two i think i'm five two Who's your celebrity crush? Fuck. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Female. Shay Mitchell. She's just. Oh my god. Jamie, if you're watching this. <laughs> um. Male. I don't really have like a famous celebrity crush as a male, but um his name he's a youtuber his name's anthony anthony cushion oh my god okay moving on i'm gonna say that one for last okay so somebody else asked me hold on all right somebody asked somebody else asked me what is your favorite memory um my favorite memory would definitely, I don't know, it depends who, like, depends who with. But I'm going to share my favorite memory with my two best friends. Um, okay, so actually I'm going to do my three, okay. So my first favorite memory was with my really good friend Louis. Um, one day we were at the fair, or we had a carnival, and we went on this one like really scary ride. And this kid cannot do like scary rides, like he cannot. 
but we made him get on it and like he was screaming like a little bitch bro he was literally screaming like a little girl and i was just laughing and i had so much change in my pocket that day and it all fell out and it was like hitting our heads and i was like fuck dude but yeah um my next one is with emily my best friend too bro with this chick we have so many memories together i can't like bro i can't tell you how much memories we have it's just so much um i guess i can say i can like spread some tea hold on so my favorite memory with her is like going over to people's houses without even telling them <laughs> you know who you are but like we sometimes just pull up at somebody's house and be like hey what's up or going to like all the games like the school games was, was so much fun to be with her um when we try to become skinty legends you know we like walk we walk all the fucking time everywhere um oh my god when we got in our fight so there's this one day we got in a fight because like she called me a faggot and like i got pressed so and then like i threw a book at her and then she threw the book like was walking away. okay so i threw the book at her she was right in front of me i threw her like at her face and then i was walking away and she went <laughs> and she, of course she dodged like she, i dodged it but it was just so much fun it was it was so funny I think people have a video of it. I'm, I'm going to have to ask, but yeah. And Delilah. Delilah's also one of my best friends. My favorite memory with her. Let's see. We've hung out. Like, okay. So, my favorite memory has to be, like, we just made this memory, like, yesterday, but we, like... We were driving around a lot. We just were acting stupid. So we went to Westgate and we had fun. And then we went to a quinceanera. And then that we didn't even like know the person. And yeah. And we went to go get, well, we went to Cold Stone. We were like looking at fights, you know? But like my absolute favorite memories with her is always on FaceTime with her, you know? It's just so much fun to talk to her, and she's just always there, you know? Just the type of friend you need. Alright. Next question was your favorite color. My favorite color is orange. Um, yeah. Um, your favorite food? Anything with food in it is, like, so good, but... My favorite food... Damn. I eat a lot, guys. I just eat a lot, you know? There's a reason I wear my hoodies. <laughs> Hashtag body issues. <laughs> okay. Favorite food, though. Fuck. I don't know. I like... Dang, that's hard. I don't know. I... Pending. Um, who's your favorite person? Damn, I can't say who my favorite person is. Like, I can say my favorite group of people, but it's my favorite pe group of people has to be like my little, you know, groupies. So there's Anaya Brown. You know, she's. I'm gonna give you like a description of everyone. Hold up, I'm gonna. So there's Anaya Brown. She, she's like this, this like just this bitch that you need. You know, she's like there to tell you like that. Like, if I'm wearing a bad outfit, you know, she'd be like, change that bitch. Like, that does not look good, you know? She's one to be, like, really honest with you. Make sure you know when you look good and when you don't. Um, And then there's Sandra. She's just so, like, hmm, I don't know how to tell you this. Okay, she's just super quiet at her moments, but then, like, she'll defend you for anything, you know? Like, I don't know if you guys caught that on camera, but I just spit everywhere. But she'll defend you for, like, anything, bro. Like, she'll stand up for you, you know? And then there's Emily, of course. Emily's just... She's just so fucking chill, you know? She's just... She has her moments of saltiness where her sodium levels go all the way up, bitch. But then she's, like... We always break shit out. And then there's Anna. Anna's... She's a really trustworthy person, you know? 
we love that. We love that in our in our friends. And then there's Louis, the asshole. Um, he's such an asshole. He's literally an asshole. He's a dickhead. But at the end of the day, he's still gonna be there to listen to you. So, yeah. And then there's Tony. Tony's so freaking funny. He's like whack as fuck, but he he's a really lit person to hang out with, you know. He's holding hammers in my house. Um after that there's Delilah, of course. She's just so stupid, but she's just so like she's so stupid, bro, <laughs> but I love her so much. She's my bobblehead, and I'm her to her potato, so, you know. Um, I think it's it for right now. Oh, okay, okay, so we're about to go into a really controversial question. How, okay, my friend Anna, she said, how does it make you feel when somebody makes fun of you for being bi, bisexual? So, I haven't told you guys to my channel yet, but, um, I, I'm bisexual, and it's just... A topic that I really love to talk about because, like, I want people to be more open about this stuff. And this shouldn't be something that just is put behind other people. Like, just save that for later, you know? Like, you're not ready for it. But, like, but we are. But, like, what is being ready for this, you know? So, what is it like? What does it make you feel like when somebody makes fun of you? I honestly get, to be honest, I get so triggered. And, like, it's not even because they're making fun of me. It's because at that point you're making fun of all the people in the LGBTQ community. And that makes me so mad. Like, you know, me, alright, say whatever the fuck you want about me. Like, I give, I could give zero shits. But when you, when it comes to all these other kids and teenagers and adults, it's just so fucked up. On how you can't accept the way people are. Like, damn. Okay. So you say, like, I'm going to take this all the way to the religious state. So you want, Jesus wants everybody to be happy. And he apparently makes all of us. If he made all of us, then he apparently made us like this. Because we were born with our sexuality. We do not get to determine what our sexuality is. So you're like you're basically saying you chose that you're straight. No, you did not choose that you're straight. You knew that you were straight because you liked females, because you liked males, the opposite sex of you. We do not get to choose who we are. We do not get to choose who we feel sexually attracted to and love. But we shouldn't need to be worried to go out in the world and be made fun of for who we are. Like... This is quoted. Here, I think I have the quote in my camera roll. Let me find this. It says, Gay pride was not born of a need to celebrate being gay, but our right to exist without persecution. So instead of wondering why there isn't a straight pride movement, be thankful you don't need one. We shouldn't be needing to... We should not be needing to protest for our rights, for who we love. Like, it should not have been illegal in the first place. We should, it, it angers me so much, bro, that we don't, like, this world does not comprehend. They can't wrap their head around that you need to let other people be themselves, okay? You're not gonna be doing it, like, we're not gonna be having, like, trying to get with you, like, bro, okay, fucks me up with straight people straight guys are like i'm like oh yeah i'm bisexual and they're like oh okay i'm cool with that just don't hit on me the fuck do you think my circumstances are that low nigga no no like that's not it and like it we shouldn't be fighting for our rights because there should not be a we should be able to be whoever we want and be happy that way, you know? And, like, people complain, like, oh, I feel like it's not safe for my kids to be in the same restroom as a, 
you know, a transgender female or a transgender male. Like, <laughs> think with your head, bro. Like, think with your head, not what all these other people are saying. Like, ooh, it angers me so much. And, like, I have gone in trouble because I like to talk about this. And at my school, I was told sexuality is not a topic to be brought up at school. But drugs are. But suicide is. They're all serious. They're all serious topics. And they, sh they suicide, drugs, all of that should be included in school. They should be talking about that, and they are, at least at my school. But sexuality isn't. I don't understand that. You know, like there is a good amount of kids in my school who are closeted because they're too afraid to be who they are for bullies, for people that are gonna make fun of them for that. I was bullied all my life for being me. And even by my family, I was bullied. To this day, my mom doesn't believe me that I'm bisexual and I'm trying to get it to the fact that I am, you know, but she doesn't believe me. And if she's watching this video, like, that's who I am. And, like, there's no point where you are too young to know just because I've not had a sexual experience with a male or a female does not mean I don't have my sexuality figured out. It does not mean I can't have it figured out. You know? So, like, it's hard for me to be able to live with somebody who can't accept who I am and can't you know say this is who he is and I'm going to love him no matter what you know and of course she loves me and of course I know that my mother loves me but why can't she just accept the fact that that's who I am and that it's not the fact that I'm not ready to that I'm doing I, that I don't know who I am I know perfectly well who I am and I'm not going to say that I'm bisexual for attention. That's not even attention. That's just years of bullies that I've already suffered with. And then my family being another one. You know, like, that's pretty dumb. But, you know, like, how do I feel? Final question, like, to answer the question. How do I feel when somebody makes fun of me for being bi? I can get triggered personally. Because, like, it does hurt when you get made fun of for being you. Like, so many people say it's so fucked up to make up, make fun of, like, an autistic kid. Or, uh, or, like, a disabled kid. We are all equal, no matter what's, what we have. What defects we have. If we're... If we have, you know, a disease, if we have a disability, we're still people. At the end of the day, we are still people. We are going to live. We are going to die. We're still the same kind. Some people more fortunate than others. Some people more healthier than others. But we're still, at the end of the day, people on the same line. And it's not fair. That people are treating other people like, like shit. When we're all the same. Made differently, yes. But at the end of the day, we're still the same. So, um, yeah, that got deep. That got really deep, okay. Sorry about that. That was like a whole ten minutes of me just talking about that. It just, I just get into it, you know. I like, I have to, I feel like it's so necessary for somebody to speak up because like, it's not happening. It's really not happening. And I need somebody to educate people on what they're doing wrong because like, they're not, they're not doing anything. So yeah, um, I might be coming back tomorrow. This may, may be the last like part. But I'm going to upload this video probably tomorrow night. So I'm going to start editing this part of the video and see if I get any more questions for tomorrow. And I will be back tomorrow. All right. Um
guys uh we're back so uh and it's um, it's the next day um and i got some more questions so yeah okay so somebody said have you not answering that question Okay, so somebody else asked me, have you ever sucked dick? No, guys, no, I'm not that bad. I know I'm terrible, but I'm not that bad. And if I were like, you know, no. I just, no, I have not. Never have I ever. <laughs> yeah, never. <laughs> I'm like... Okay, no, I cannot be saying shit like this because my family watches my YouTube videos. So, yeah. How do you feel about James Charles? Okay. Tea time. So, all this, like, drama with Tati, James, and Jeffrey. Um, mm, I don't know. At first, like, I was like, fuck. Like, I, like, dang, James is canceled, you know? But then I'm like, it was like more videos started coming out his video came out and i was just like dang you know but then jeffrey was like on his instagram story he was like i'm about to expose james and all this shit and then when he uploaded his video he was apologizing which yeah like he took the bit like he was a bigger person to do it but at the same time he said he had receipts and shit like that but you know i love jeffrey and I'm, 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 i love all of them i'm like I still haven't subscribed back to James, but I don't know. I don't know. He's, like, really kind of... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, yeah. And I think this is going to be a last question. Let me see. Yeah, I think this is our last question. Um, the question was, was it hard for you to come out? For sure. It was really hard for me because, like, I, all my life, prior to coming out, I was bullied. Um, I was always made fun of for being more femaleish than male. <sighs> for, you know, playing with Barbies and for playing with female stuff. Um, I came out because one of my other close friends came out. And I was like, dang, he had the courage to do that, and nobody judged him, you know? Not a lot of people were assholes to him. Well, he only told, like, our group, you know? And so then I told my group, and I was like, yeah, I'm bi. And um, they were like, okay, we knew. <laughs> like, a lot of people thought it was full-on gay, but, you know. And ever since then, I've been out to, like, everybody. Everybody knows... Uh, at my school, um, if you meet me, I'm just like, yeah, I'm your friendly bisexual kid, you know? Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, I, I don't know when this video is going up. I need to edit, and I honestly hate editing so much, so I'm probably going to be really lazy on that. But, um, thanks for watching. Make sure y'all just leave your love and your hate comments, like the video, subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when I do stupid things on my channel, you know. Um, and yeah, have a good day.